All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. So today on the show, we are talking about setting aside time to think. Now, this isn't going to be a crazy long episode. It's just something I've observed. I often don't give myself time to think through problems, and I end up thinking through problems or situations in my life or what I want the future to look like when I'm doing something that I don't want to do, and then that stops me from being present in the moment. So the key here is to set aside time to think, set aside time to journal, set aside time to cast your vision, deal with your feelings, be present in the moment so that you've handled all that so you can be more present with people when you're with them. So that's what we're getting at, setting aside time to think. And where has it shown up in my life? Well, I do a morning prayer walk every day. And in that morning prayer walk, I take time to say stuff I'm grateful for. I take time to pray for people I love, care about, and parts of my life that I love and care about. Typically, I cover family, friends, finances, faith, and fitness. That's from Vivid Vision. If you uh, watch that episode of the show, it's a book, Vivid Vision, and it's by Cameron Harrell. It's right over here to my left. And he talks about those five major areas of your life. So I pray over those five areas. I pray for people I care about, people I love, those areas in their life. Um, I also just pray for God to work in me, for some of the promises of God to come true in my life, in my soul, and for me to internalize them. And then just going forward, um, I meditate on scripture, right? So I have some scriptures that I like. First Corinthians 13 is a huge one. And I don't know which verses they are, but the one where it's like, my peace I give to you, my peace I live leave with you not as the world gives do i give to you let not your hearts be troubled nor let them be afraid i love that verse as well because my head can be very tumultuous sometimes and i love the peace of christ so that's kind of where i've given myself time to think on my morning prayer walks and i pray about business opportunities because that's what really fills my days i'm a firm believer that business is the way to change the world like entrepreneurship capitalism and um, not having a government or infrastructure or systems in place that force people to be generous or help the least of these in the minimum way, but entrepreneurs who are willingly generous and help the least of these in the maximum way and find a way to monetize it so it's a sustainable system. That's what I really love about capitalism. Like, I think so many people want like a socialist world or socialism or they just want, not so many people actually, I don't, I barely know anybody that wants that, but it's a narrative right? And I think what that's really getting at is we want to bring out the best in people. And we want that best in people to be shown in relationships. We want everybody to have a kind of baseline standard of living. But do we really want to take away the upside? Like the upside so fun. I don't want to take away the upside. I love capitalism. I love entrepreneurship. So if we inspire the capitalists, the fellow entrepreneurs that are currently stuck in their W-2s, to solve problems in society in a monetizable way, then I think um, you'll see the world change, right? That's just my belief. That's what I think. Hey, we're talking about setting aside time to think. That is some of the stuff that I think about when I cast the vision for Left With Love in my time to think. It's like uniting 1 billion people to raise the standard of living across the world to middle-class America and beyond. Because then what we're going to do is raise the level of consciousness, the level of awareness, the level of love, across the world to the best levels because we're here to elevate ourselves elevate the people around us and just basically get closer to god and i think the closer you get to god the more you prosper and i know the bible's not prosperity gospel but when you think about it, it kind of is like he didn't come to condemn the world came to save it so that you can have eternal life so kind of is a prosperity gospel just not in the way that people uh, when people preach it and how that term is coined it's not the same there Anyway, enough with my tangent. Set aside time to think. It's shown up for me in my morning prayer walks, casting vision, meditating on scripture that I care about, praying for people I love, showing gratitude. And sometimes it's complaining. As much as I don't support complaining, sometimes I complain. Whatever thought needs to be released, I try to let it be released. And then sometimes I try to just empty my mind. It's a form of meditation for me too. I have this vision of myself like absorbing energy from trees, which I know is really weird, really freaky. I'm not... Uh, crazy. I think there are um, ways that you can like absorb energy. There are ways that you can feel energy. Like you ever walk in the room and you feel the heat between two people. Like I think, I think there's something to that. And I just imagine trees having life force and 
me absorbing them because I feel like they have a lot of life force and they're like a staple of the environment, you know, and our lives because they produce a lot of oxygen. So anyway, that is where it has shown up in my life. It's also shown up. I talked earlier about whenever I'm not taking time to think, it shows up when I'm doing stuff that I don't want to do. So sometimes when I'm at church, I don't really care for church service. And I'm just like, oh, man, I'm kind of over this. I start thinking about stuff that I want to think about. <laughs> which may not be the surface at the time and y'all yeah, grow in that maybe but i also don't have to god loves me anyway where do i want it to show up in my life i want to be more intentional so when i go on my prayer walks i would like them to be maybe more focused with topics maybe just having a prayer list but also setting aside time just to think and just to cast vision business wise like it's a part of my prayer walks but it's not a focused time and i really love casting vision i really love thinking about the future because how i'm a big advocate of the law of attraction and in the law of attraction basically you, you think things and your thoughts cause you to feel things and your feelings cause you to do things and all of those things are vibrating at a certain level which means it attracts the things that are also vibrating at that level so basically if you do, if you never think about it it's probably probably never going to happen everything you see in the world was once thought of that's just a really cool thing so if you only thought about what you wanted that's all you would get but we spend so much time thinking about other things and thinking about all the fears and all the worries and all the negativity that could come with going after what we want. That that's typically what we get more of. Anyway, so I, I want to be more intentional with casting vision for the future. Deep work, Cal Newport, he talks a lot about this concept of he would just set a topic like book title. He'd be writing a book and he would say book title. And that's what I'm going to think about for 90 minutes. He would go on a 90 minute walk thinking about book title. And then he would get a, an amazing title such as deep work. Now for everybody's favorite part of the podcast, how can you apply it to yourself? Start. I love this question because action is typically very simple. We all try to go big, or at least I try to go big. I try to 10 X everything, but 10 X of zero is zero. So start and then start 10 Xing what you started. So start with one call, start with one email, start with one text message, start with one relationship, Start with one deal, start with one, and then 10x it, and then 10x it, and then 10x it. And yeah, take massive action and all that stuff. But if you never start, you'll never finish. And um, yeah, just stay disciplined at that low level of action. So like, if you want to give yourself 10 seconds to think per day about whatever you want to think about, give yourself that 10 seconds and stay faithful with that 10 seconds. And then 20, 30, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, just keep on going until you get to a place where you're comfortable or wherever your goal is. And um, yeah, just start. I, I wrote down, start with five minutes a day, but that may be too much for you. Do 10 seconds, do one second. Like say, I'm going to take a breath now and then take one deep breath. And that was an intentional breath and an intentional thought. And you were giving time to yourself and eventually it will grow if you do it consistently. So I love this question because action is simple. And you can start small and anybody can do it. So you can apply it to your life by starting to set aside time to think. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. As we always ask, go ahead and shoot this podcast over to one to three people that you know need to hear this message. Go ahead and give us a five-star review on iTunes if you like the show. One thing Alex Formosi says, I've been thinking about my closing, right? And Alex Formosi, I love that man. He's, he's a beast. He talks about doing something without asking for stuff in return. So I feel like I give value on this podcast, but every time I end the podcast, I ask for something from you guys. And he talks a lot about, um, I've heard this concept of the relational bank of you can make deposits into your relational bank and you can make withdrawals, withdrawals. I couldn't say that word, but you can withdraw from your emotional bank as well. And so every time I, do a podcast, I add value to you guys, I'm depositing, but every time I ask for a review and for you to share it with a friend, I'm taking a withdrawal. And that like has just kind of been in my head of like, should I, should I continue to leave my ending like that? So tell me what you guys think. Shoot me a text, shoot me an email. The ways to contact me shouldn't be too hard. Find me on Instagram, like DM me. I'm pretty responsive there. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If it's a cumbersome ask, um, I, I might just take it out altogether and change my intro and change my outro because I feel like I'm just asking, 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 and it's been automated now. 
But if I just add value, add value, add value, eventually it'll come back to me because of the law of reciprocity, which maybe we'll have a podcast about that as well. I'll write that down on my ideas. But thank you guys so much. See you next time.